Uh, that's odd. There's still a fresh piece of fruit here. Let's take it. Seems safe enough. Let's see. Is that... That's plus five hope. Do we just... Let's just eat it. Even crisper than expected. Very nice. That's plus five hope. This perfume... Ah, uh, the label reads a contemporary classic to win the suitor of your dreams. So that gives us black bile. That spritz us once with that. Uh, ah, yes. It smells just like musty lace. Uh, and this one is yellow bile. I see, I see. And that's hope. Okay. Do we gain some yellow bile as well? Sure. Intuition was increased to level 16. Very nice. Might as well freshen up. Uh, smells like I roll in a flower bed. Do men really like this? Okay, the archway, does that just lead to... Um, to uh, Soros Square? Let's see. Uh, this path leads straight into London's industrial sector. Nothing but factories and workhouses. Those buildings are unerringly grim. Uh, at least all the soot and smoke are confined to a single place, and the mechanisms in such buildings are something to behold. Uh, I mean, the smoke goes up into the sky, and then it scatters about, then it comes down as rain, and then everything is covered in soot, and uh, breathing gets pretty terrible, and lungs fill with, with all sorts of stuff that shouldn't be in lungs, and uh, that's how you get industrial London. Though I guess with steam it's probably... No, actually, steam needs something to heat it up. So that's probably going to be coal as well. So, yeah, it's probably not great. I'm going to risk the minus five hope to be a bit more sincere. Pa, there is more to life than work, work, work. Oh, I'd hope so. <laughs> I sure do hope so. Let's keep going then. Uh, there isn't much to do here except for the uh, iron gate up ahead. So let's go there right away. There it is. Let's see. The orphanage where those children went missing. A dreary place, best to avoid it. Okay. So nothing to do there yet. I'd assume that uh, Atticus is probably, you know, more likely to have to do something there. The Red Lantern Lane. The Tenya Street. Uh, the uh, Tenta Street. Tenta? Is, the, is that Tenta? The font is a bit... Hard to read precisely. Could be an L, could be a T. I'm gonna say Tenta Street probably. Uh, and Red Lantern Lane. Uh, where do we go next? Let's go to uh, Red Lantern Lane. A cozy street where scarlet lanterns hide the horrors of poverty and sin. Let's travel there. Okay, let's prepare for <laughs> another reading. Red Lantern Lane is so named for the color of the paper lanterns above the street. Like a carnival, the thinnest veneer of gaudy spectacle conceals a grim reality. Ornate facades, raucous shouts, and a thousand different smells all compete for one's attention. It pays to keep a weather eye out for danger in this neighborhood. What are those hunched shadows in the alleyways? Vagrants in need of a warm fire or a gang of thugs waiting for a mark? Possibly something more sinister and twisted. But in the daytime, at least, uh, you needn't worry about being clubbed from behind or getting snatched by some organ traders' lackeys. A pair, of pick a pair of pickpockets working in tandem is the worst you'll encounter as long as the sun is up. And you're far too clever to be duped by such as they. Okay. Now what do we have here? Uh, gears and cogs, of course. Those lie around everywhere. Let's take them. Uh, there's Teddy's workshop. That's a place to enter. B A O Z I. Come on. What is that? Uh, this must be B A O Z I. I believe she worked for uh, Waylon uh, till his death. And how, how about you, Tani? Um, and yet, still at it. Uh, from the look of it, uh, bet she's not aware of her newfound freedom. Then again, Dolores does check on her occasionally, likely ensuring uh, B-A-O-Z-I stays put. Welcome, future patron. In the mood for some noodles? Um, 
ask about the food, uh, buy a bowl of noodles. Uh, let's ask about it first. What exactly goes into the dishes prepared here? Uh, tender loving care. Wei Lun uh, is fond of saying that. Be more specific. I mean, what ingredients go into the meals you serve? I'm sorry, but I'm not at liberty to disclose such things. A secret recipe only known to Wei Lun. Well, at least there isn't a uh, worry about the competition copying the secret to success. Um, that the establishment managed to uh, last this long without human supervision should also count as a huge achievement. Sure, one shilling for a bowl of noodles. By the saints, I suppose I was famished. No harm in treating myself. Pleased to hear it. Here is one order of Waylon's finest. I must say, this is uh, this almost makes me want to stay in London. Plus five hope. Come again? Oh, uh, nothing. Great meals tend to make me say all sorts of things. Thank you for your patronage. May the food lift your spirits. Okay, that's plus five hope. We are content right now. That's nice to see. I'm gonna go into Teddy's workshop. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go inside right now. Those ten uh, don't tend to have that much different stuff going on. Uh, I do. I do believe this is the home of Teddy Redgrave. Uh, got me out of a bind during the uh, Frobisher case. Let's knock. Hmm, no response. He must be out. Wait, is that the 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 dwarf guy that we met earlier? I think I think his name was Teddy, right? I'm so bad with names. Sorry about that. Bathhouse, uh, laundry, and there's a tunnel. Wait, um, where does the tunnel lead? Probably we, we probably can't enter it. Uh, enter it, right? Let's take a look. Um, I spy with my little eye a path that'll take me to a polluted canal. Uh, I once went to that part of town. Folks there were surprisingly welcoming. Uh, slums there aren't exact uh, aren't exactly a sight for sore eyes. Uh, folks there were surprisingly welcoming. Wager they treasure any visits that they can get, seeing as they're overlooked by mostly uh, overlooked by most Londoners. Let's enter the bathhouse. Uh, if Red Lantern Lane is full of unseeming, uh, unseemly sights, then the bathhouse is something of an oasis. The smell of jasmine and sandalwood flow from the entryway, and you're hit with a wave of steam as you step inside. The inviting bath water calls out to your tired bones. Red wallpaper and bamboo paneling divide the room in portions, and the changing room is lushly appointed for all denominations of clientele. The calming incense is impossible to resist, but be careful with your footing. The floor tiles are slick. A drapery of steam collects along the baseboards and curls up the patterned wallpaper. Let the steam into your lungs with a deep breath. Here you may wash away the discomforts of the day or drown your worries in the libations at the back bar. Okay, let's take a look at that. There's a changing area. Um, tuh, look at all that glitter in the, uh, in the cubbies. How can people be so careless with their money? Well, let's take it then. 11 pence, okay. You're coming with me. Very nice. Um, there's a bath no people i can talk to here that's fine though a hot and steamy bath hmm uh, it would be lovely to wipe away the grit of the city streets and, and relax for a bit sure let's take a bath plus 10 hope it feels as though i've washed away my cares along with the grime at least for the moment plus 10 hope that makes us optimistic you love to see it anything else around here oh i know you Slow down there, miss. Uh, sl slow down a tick, miss. Uh, my name is Miss Reed, sir. Right, yeah. Sorry, Miss Reed. But females aren't allowed in the uh, dreaming area. Uh, is there some secret and invisible force that draws fools to me, or vice versa? Dreaming area? And why, pray tell, are women forbidden to enter the opium den? It can't be... Uh, Concern for our health. Let's go with the second one. Actually, it's uh, actually in a manner of speaking, it is. Most of the customers is men, and uh, we don't want them th uh, taking advantage of you when you're a uh, dreaming. So much for hospitality. Boss's orders. Sorry. Ah, uh, so we cannot visit 
uh, our Minotaur friend, I suppose. That's a shame. All right, let's head back outside into the uh, Red Lantern Lane and see what the other building is about. There we go. The other building was the laundry. Let's take a look. Uh, Dolores Chen's machine laundry is a place Londoners like having their clothes, if not their dirty character, washed and ironed. A uh, presentable look determines fashion and survival. After all, people guard their image and belongings with, uh, with their lives in a city that would rob them just as well of their reputation as their pocketbook. Stepping into the launderette, you're accosted by the reek of laundry sacks. Masking the foul odor is the smell of honeysuckle soap, preferred by Dolores. From behind the counter is the loud rumbling of laundry manglers, mixers, presses and steam washers. The heat from the soaker tubs and ironing boards delivers a wave of steam that beads your brow. The mind might be refreshed by a, a pithy chat with the sharp-witted Dolores. Stay as long as needed to make yourself new again. Uh, hours of operation permitted. Okay. Uh, unclaimed clothing. Let's take a look at that. Uh, some of these dresses look a bit like Ariana's. There's Dolores Chen, there's the dressmaker's dummy. Let's take a look at that. This mannequin gets a lot of views posed in whatever garments fit the latest fashion. Anything back here? A person I cannot speak to. Uh, there's knitting machines. Hmm, there's something wrong here. Is it poor form to fiddle about uh, without asking? Uh, look right there, a stray gear from another machine has fallen and jammed the mechanism. Uh, let's remove the stray gear. One cog added. There, everything's in its right place. Very nice. A free cog, which is free money. A laundry vat. Great wooden wash ba uh, Great wooden wash basins. I should hope Dolores never falls in by accident. Let's hope that isn't uh, foreshadowing. Uh, hung sheets. Uh, Dolores can make even the filthiest stain disappear. I wonder if she does the same with secrets. Let's go over here again and talk to Dolores. Let's see what she has to say. Uh, the indomitable Dolores Chen, a dyed-in-the-wool businesswoman, whether that business is above board or below it. Well, well, if it isn't the illustrious Clara Reed, what wonderful deed have I uh, done to be deserving your presence? Good day to you too, Dolores. Don't go wasting your charm on me, missy. I w uh, it won't do you. Uh, it won't do no good. Dolores has customers from a range of social classes, but I've heard she gives all of them an equal dose of attitude. Hmm, Dolores is looking a bit frayed around the edges. It must be something big. In the normal course of things, she'd never let it show. Uh, what's the matter? I can tell something's got you on edge. Don't bother. I can see you want something plain as day. Let every woman look to her own problems. Uh, intuition? Okay, we just need a one. So just not the minus 100 and we're good. That's a 13. Bit overkill if you ask me, but I'll take it. Um, please, you know, you can talk to me. I'm an old bullfrog girl. I'd sooner cut off my own nose than peach on a friend. Anyway, I can read on your face that it's not any legal kind of trouble. All right, fine. I need more graft to get the bobbies off my back. I sell the swag that Molly's Thieves is lifting. Only it ain't coming in like it used to these days. And now every night I've got a constable at the door crying wicked threats. Everybody who's anybody knows Dolores is a fence for Molly and the hounds. Fence, I assume, is the reseller, yeah. Right, right, we had that in the first recording session. Um, she sues hidden pockets in the Dockhounds uniform so they can uh, hit the stores in Kensington. The Bobbies turn a blind eye because they get the hush money, until now it seems. So you need me to find out why deliveries have dried up? Got it in one. I want you to find old Carlisle McGrady. He keeps the orphans in line for Molly. Might be he needs reminding of the mutual part of our mutually beneficial arrangement. I 
don't know the name, but I know the type. A ladsman. One who might be getting too big for his breeches. Um, there are a lot of ladsmen in the city, Dolores. How might I find this McGrady? Uh, oh, he fancies himself a dandy, wears an orange cravat and a topper, carries a blackjack, a flexible, concealable bludgeoning weapon, usually filled with lead powder, uh, molded lead clay or lead shot. Okay. Uh, I've seen what damage a blackjack might do. Close at, uh, close at hand. Uh, but now is not the time for unpleasant memories. Find him for me, show him the error of his ways, and I'll see about getting what you need. If Dolores is having a, a cash flow problems, it's no good asking her for money I, uh, for the money I need. Um, but she's got connections. Might be she can help in another way. I need to get some new papers. Uh, I, I need you to get some new papers for me. Uh, agree to help Dolores in exchange for help leaving London. Uh, refuse to help. Um, Yeah, let's let's make it uh, one hand washes the other kind of thing. I'll admit that I need to get out of London as soon as feasible, but I can't do so without the right papers or money to afford such travel documents. Well then, might be we can come to a mutual arrangement of our own. Just get a uh, Peter Kipling off my back, and you'll walk away a new woman. Dolores is shrewd, but she'll be as tight-lipped with my secrets as she is with her own. I can trust her. Thanks, Dolores. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, you'll find the ladsman loitering about Soros Square. If he ain't in the sewers, now off with you. Well, if he's in the sewers, I'm... Did that guy have a... Did that guy have a top hat? Did I, accident... Did I accidentally kill the guy? Um... Well, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I'm not going to do that right away. There's still one more location I have not explored quite yet, and that's Tenter Street? Tenter Street, okay. Uh, a narrow dead-end lane, uh, like a tunnel to nowhere. Let's travel there. One second, I'm going to need some water. Think of a condemned side alley in a poor part of London, where the public services are infrequent and children play in the filthy streets. Unwashed by their parents, working all day in the factories. Cheap wooden shutters hang from the shattered holes of looted tenements, like so many black uh, eyes after a night of bar fights. Old rags stretch across the clotheslines and rats make their home in the rubbish. Aside from the curio shop, there isn't much worth visiting here, leaving you to tread the mucky road with your collar to the wind, looking just about as hopeless as the residents themselves. Uh, themselves. Okay. Rotten fruit. I'm not gonna eat that. Brits really have a remarkable diversity when it comes to produce. I suppose I can thank colonialism for that. And much like colonialism, fruit selling seems to result in a whole lot of destruction. Well, they do look recent. I imagine if I carefully sifted through the fallen fruitage, I'd find something ed- Sorry, I'd find something edible. Aha! There's a decent apple here on the pile of rotten ones. Let's take it. Yum, uh, yum. Thanks, British Empire. You really were a force for good today. That's a rare thing you can say about the British Empire. Uh, you know what? Let's just eat it. Even crispier than expected. Let's see how high we can get. Uh, optimistic. Hell yeah. A burnt building. Uh, I can see broken porcelain in the rubble. Perhaps this was laundry or a beauty parlor. Or, or else someone forgot to pay Molly her protection money. She's been known to exact fiery revenge in the past. Uh, gears and cogs. Hell yeah. Let's collect those for some potential money. One cog added to the inventory. A watch vendor. Nothing in that part, okay. Uh, buy a watch, sir or madam. Wristwatches. How dull must someone be to always need to know the time? Okay, and let's go into the uh, curio shop. See what that is all about. Uh, breathe in the sweet, dusty smell of the second hand and step into the collection of uh, Anselina Kemeni. 
Before running, uh, before running the shop, she worked as a knife grinder, umbrella mender, and beehive maker, collecting her rag and bone wares in the meantime. Animal horn windows emit a greenish, uh, admit a greenish daylight, cheaper than glass. Uh, they're the best she can, uh, she could afford. For the past ten years, Anselina has made a home here, and the curio shop is well known in the East End and beyond. To fit her wares, she hammered in shelves at all angles, so that a tall customer has to watch their head. Uh, there are taxidermied creatures and jewel-eyed fetishes, tin soldiers, wind-up toys and ragdoll marionettes, as well as rarities too bizarre to mention, uh, peering down from the rafters or the top of a, tilled ca uh, of a tilted cabinet. Okay. Uh, instrument rack. Uh, instruments. I'm certain I could learn to play something, but I've more a knack for singing. And I have a knack for neither. There's an Iron Maiden. Uh, a brutal contraption for the mashing of flesh. I suppose it's only a decoration, but still, it's a dreadful thing. A uh, covered wagon. An old-fashioned Romani uh, Vardo, a Romani word for cart or wagon. Uh, in, in many ways, the nomadic life was simpler and happier. Best not to lose, uh, lose myself in those memories now. And uh, now Anselina uh, Kemeni. Anselina has a well-kept shop, despite being packed full of uh, gugars, knickknacks and uh, bagatelles. Uh, Miss Kemeni, hello, how is business? Always better when you come around, dear. A uh, pretty face is better than a dozen candles for lighting up the place. Uh, ask if she has any ladies fans. Oh yeah, we could look. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I'm always on the lookout for a new ladies fan. If you have something particularly stylish or unusual, that is. Well, I have this. I, I don't know if it's stylish, but I will let you have it for a shilling. Uh, it's not fancy, but pretty enough for one shilling. Uh, yes, I'll take it, thank you. It's the uh, cheap fan, and it's added to the collection. My pleasure. Have you acquired any interesting new trinkets of late? No, but I have something much better than a trinket. This little item fell into my hands just yesterday. She produces a tidy leather case, obviously not for cigarettes. This here is an, alterna uh, is an alternative to carrying around keys. Perhaps you've seen it before. Should you find yourself locked out of your flat uh, late at night, or if you lose the key on your uh, steamer trunk, this will fix you right up. A, fami a familiar problem indeed. This particular lockpick has a whiff of magic to it. If you've got the nose to sense it, that is. I believe I've heard of such tools before. How much do you want for this one? Uh, three pounds sterling. Uh, ooh, that's that's expensive. How much do we have right now? We have five pounds and uh, fifteen shillings. There's twelve pence in a shilling and twenty shillings in a pound. So we are missing five shillings for a pound. Okay, fine. It, it's nearly half a man. Uh, it's a bit more than half a money. Uh, sure, whatever. Magic lockpick added to inventory. I can only hope that it serves you well. Well, let's say goodbye then. Uh, you're welcome back anytime. It's lovely having you sho uh, stop by. Okay, so let's leave again. I'm just gonna prepare myself for next time because I'm, I think I'm gonna have to call it a day because my voice is starting to give out. And last time I recorded too long and I paid the price for it. I'm just gonna go to Sorry Square because there we have to meet the, uh, the uh, landsman potentially. So we can do that next time I uh, boot up the game. And I just realized, I, I think I never saved even once this entire recording. That could have been bad. Uh, I, I should get in the habit of it. I don't know, it was second nature in Baldur's Gate at some point. But here I kind of just forget about it. Now I've saved though. And with that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.